Hey guys, Corley here. As per a fan request, I'm going to make a quick video guide on how to use Simulation Craft for Shadow Priest. This is for patch 4.3. First step, you're going to go ahead and go to simulationcraft.org and download the latest version of Simulation Craft. Once you get that it's set up, you'll open it and you should see a page that looks just like this. First thing, you're going to go to the top tab and click Options. You're going to come down and set your iterations to something higher than default. You want at least 10,000, but I like prefer 50,000. What this does is basically it makes the simulation take longer, but it's more accurate. So you'll get your best stat weights if you use the higher settings. For world lag, you're just going to set it low, medium, or high, depending on what your in-game latency is. Pretty much anything under 100, you set to low. 300s medium, 500s, high. The rest of this stuff you can pretty much leave default. Set your threads to something r close to uh, the amount of cores you have in your computer. Then you're going to come to buffs. All of these should be checked by default. If you happen to get dark intent or focus magic consistently in your raids, then go ahead and check those. I get dark intent, so I'm going to check that. Next will be debuffs. All these will be checked. Again, if you're in a 25-man raid, it's very likely that you're going to have all of these debuffs active. So once you're done there, you're going to go to the Scaling tab. You're going to click Analyze Intellect, Spirit, Spell Power, Hit, Crit, Haste, and Mastery, as these are the stats that are important to a Shadow Priest. Once you're finished with that, you'll come to the Import tab. Looks like the Armory page, so you'll go ahead and type in your character name. Find your character in the characters list, click on that. It's going to be a load bar at the bottom. Once it reaches 100%, hit import. And you should see a page like this. This just says basically your race, uh, your professions, your talent spec, your gear, and a list of priority actions. This is the default priority list. You can run a simulation with what it says here if you either don't have tier 13 4 piece or you don't do the Mind Spike Mind Blast rotation during Shadow Fiends. If you do do that, then you're going to want to go ahead and put in a custom priority list. This can be found at HowToPriest.com in the Theory Crafting section under Tier 13 Rotation. Or you can go ahead and download it from the link that I'll provide, which is just a text file with the action list already in place. You're just going to copy that, and then you're going to replace all the actions that are here with the new ones. This is going to tell Simulation Craft to simulate as if you were doing a Mind Spike Mind Blast rotation with Shadow Fiend active, and using the Cancel Aura Mind Melt method. Once that's done, you're going to click Simulate, and after it finishes, you're going to get a results page that looks like this. This will show your theoretical DPS at the top, along with your stat breakdowns, and a lot of other useful information that you can check out here. Mainly what you're after here though is your scale factors, which are telling you how much each stat is worth. Now you can use these stats on various reforging sites and in-game reforging add-ons, but I like to use WoW Reforge, which Simulation Craft has a link to directly from this page. You can go ahead and just click WoW Reforge at the bottom and it's going to bring you here with your character loaded and the stat weights already put in. Make sure to check this list here to see if all the gear is the current gear that you're wearing. If any of it's not, then you're going to click the update button. After you've made sure this is an up-to-date list of your gear, you're going to come down to the bottom and you're going to copy this link out of the bottom because this browser in SimCraft doesn't support the plugin that you need to use the optimizer. So then you're just going to go to your regular browser, paste it into the top, and it'll be the same page. Now, you're going to want to come down here to cap number one and set it to hit. Set the value to 1742, and the overcap weight will stay zero. You can set this close to, exactly to, at least, or at most. So I'm going to go for exactly 1742, which would be 17% hit on the dot. After that's done, you can hit optimize, or if you like to set your haste to a certain soft cap and then go mastery from there as I do, you can go to cap 2, set it to haste, click at least, 
And then I'm going to go 2284, because I get Dark Intent, I'm not a goblin, and I want the third Devouring Plague tick. For the overcap weight, I'm just going to copy the haste rate, and I'm going to paste it in there, because the value won't change after cap. Mastery will still be above it, but this will allow you to at least get the 2284, or whatever weight you want to get to. Once that's done, you're going to click Optimize, and it's going to run for a few seconds, minutes, uh, really depends on how much uh, data you're crunching. Once the optimization is completed, you'll see red and green text at the top here. Basically anything in green is already reforged optimally, and anything in red needs to be changed. The row on the left is the current reforge, and the row on the right is what you need to reforge too. Basically what this says here on my bracers, for example, is that I'm reforged haste to spirit and I need to unreforge to the stock. That's what the three dashes means, no reforge. Look at my gloves and it says I'm crit to mastery, but I need to be crit to spirit. And on my ring, I'm spirit to haste, but I need to be unreforged to default. At this point, you'll just go into game, reforge based on what it shows here, and you should have optimal stats. I hope this helps and everyone enjoy your gaming.